Bitcoin setting up for some fireworks on this 4th of July week. The next two weeks are going to be very telling for Bitcoin on the general direction of this trend. I'm going to show you why in this video. This is chart junkies. Stare at these charts all day till my eyes bleed so you don't have to. Another short update. If you like this content and you want to just come in, stay up to date on where the market's at, subscribe definitely. I'm trying to grow this community. We're going to look at Bitcoin. Um, I'm going to show you on some smaller time frames what we're looking at. Um, guys, my last video I posted, this is why Elliott Wave Theory is so vital to being, to have a good grasp on where the market's at. And then you can create your trading plan accordingly. You have to know Elliott Wave Theory. In my opinion, it's not a theory. It's literally fact on how market makers take liquidity. It just puts a rhyme and a reason to it, puts it in a structure, lays out rules in doing that. Um, so, you know, study up on Elliott Wave. I'm going to make a, a series here on YouTube and just link it on all my videos so everyone can watch it. I don't like the Elliott Wave um tutorials that are out there nowadays so i'm just gonna make my own and show you guys you know kind of kind of pass on what i know to you guys and expedite your your trading career um like my last thumbnail even look at this this is what we were expecting oops a down a down move an up move a down move and then we can go right it's just classic Elliott wave here and what did we get let me zoom in for you that was right oops i'm still zoomed in <laughs> um that was right here let's move this so that was right here where we made this right right here i said down up down and then we can go right and what did it do it broke that liquidity channel that i had drawn out there came back up broke this top just like i had drawn out and came back down broke the bottom all the news in the world can come out guys the charts are still going to do what the charts do like it's the the charts were setting up for this move it happened news came out that kind of made it happen but isn't it funny how I literally called this in my last video, not knowing any news that was coming out with the ETFs, whatever. I, I don't even know. And and it just did that move. Weird, right? All right, let's get into the chart and just kind of kind of examine where we're at here. What I want to do right off the bat, this is Bitcoin on just the daily super quick we're going to map out liquidity spots and i'm, I'm just going to show you uh, give you a clear picture as to what's going on the market's going to always come back into liquidity like look right here took this liquidity out right created a zone and came in stopped everyone out and then went right here created a zone stopped everyone out and then dumped like it's this is this is what happens Mapping out liquidity is just going to be a super easy, super great tool for everyone. There's liquidity here. Liquidity, when I say that, it's just where's people stop losses so they can come stop them out, take all their money, and then go. Um, there's liquidity there. If you go in on a smaller time frame, there's massive liquidity being built as we speak. All down here. There's massive liquidity being built built as we speak right here so zooming out now looking at these liquidity zones that we made where just looking at this where do you think price is gonna go and then obviously you know there's a massive liquidity zone down here which is just not even funny what's the most probable and then this liquidity zone up here probable direction of bitcoin here to just hit all these zones where everyone's stop losses are just just look at it and just you can you can clearly see 
Probably like toom, 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 toom. Like that, it just looks great, doesn't it? Or you can have it come like this. Boom, 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 right? So it just it's just a great visual tool to map out these liquidity zones with boxes. And you can see for yourself where, like it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out where people's stop losses are and probably your stop losses as well. So just know the market makers, these algorithms, exchanges, sweep all of these stop losses. They know where everyone's stops are. They go, stop them out in a loss, take that money, thank you, and then go the direction that they intend to go. If they need, you know, if a stop loss is right here, if someone's long, their stop loss is right here, that's a sell order. If a market needs to go up, the, the exchange needs to have that liquidity to buy, 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 so it comes down, and the big players, they come down, stop everyone out who sells their long position, they buy those long positions, and then they can go and take their profit, right? It's just how this game's played. It's how this game's played. So I'm going to zoom in quick, show you why this week, next week, is, is going to be, in my opinion, very telling for Bitcoin. We're creating just some nice liquidity here. Um, in my opinion, you know, this, I mean, just the way it looks is some type of uh, correction here, some type of correction here, correction here, right? And I want to finish this wave off in five waves. And then that finished wave for me will finish this entire wave. Okay. Now, what happens when we finish this wave? Guys, you know, and, and this, of course, I'm not saying it's it's got to do this. This could just roll over and just start going, right? I, it, this could just go up from here. It's all probabilities. It's all probability based. I'm not here to say I'm 100% right all the time, but when you play the probabilities, that's how you become profitable. So I have an impulse here from an Elliott wave. Boom, 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 corrective. I want it to finish. Then take this liquidity that we talked about. Then I want a correction down to take this liquidity and correct the impulse. We're gonna pull the fibs. I wanna come down to the 0.5. Maybe the 618. I want to test this breakout, right? Looks good. So if if these stars align this week and then next week, if we get a pump here breaking this and we get something that starts looking like this, starts looking like this, you know, I'm going to really like I'm these are trades that I'm going to be taking if they show themselves. If it doesn't play out, it doesn't play out. It is what it is. But this is just my trading plan. I could go short here, and this could just start going. I mean, it, it definitely can, guys, and I'm ready for that. You should be too. So, I'm looking at some type of a finished wave here. I want it to look nice. Hopefully it does. And then I want to see a correction into this liquidity. And then I want to go. And I want to go big time. Okay. Other things to look out for is a break of structure here. And then if it starts impulsing to the downside like this, I'm really not going to like it. If that's if that's a big wave, I'm not going to like it. It could still be some type of convoluted flat here to go. But for me this I'm sorry, this is not finished. That's in that's a corrective wave up. It just is. This is a corrective wave down. This whole thing. And I just want to see it finish out. That'll be fine for me. And then correction and go. I want it to look like that. You always get what you want, but we'll, we'll see. 
Um, now, this is going to be over the course of this week into next week. It just that, That's a week time right there. That's a week time. At most, 12 days for the whole correction. Yeah, so it's two weeks. Zooming out a little bit on the four hour. It'll give you a shape like this. And then you can look to go. Right. Stuff something to watch out for, guys. Like this is this is what I'm playing, and I'm I'm hoping this is correction. WXY. Correction. And then we come down. Right? That's what I'm playing. You can see how it hits all these liquidity zones quite nicely. Stuff to look out for. Something that I just want to note. Instead of just cranking to the upside here. I mentioned this, mentioned this in my last video. Why can I not delete this? What are we doing? All right. So when you have a shape like this, where it looks very flat, it's, it's breaking this top. I, it's so convoluted and it's just, it's just doing too much. I don't like it, but it can happen. Um, where this flats up and it impulses down to break the low. You can have just a, a flat look and then go. And I would be looking at this being the finished wave, this being a corrective wave, and then another ABC up, right? So it would have it would have that general structure to it. Again, I don't I don't have price targets, guys. It's just all based on the wave structure and and how the waves look. I let the waves just you know I count the waves and I wait until I get a proper wave structure. So ultimately, you can have something like that into that into that, and then we come down. And you'd be looking to correct this whole thing right there. Maybe to the 0.5, the 618. Maybe it just gets to the 382. But right now, we're sitting at a 236. Like, that's just not corrected enough for me. We're going to have more upside. It's just, do we, should we be expecting downside here first and then more upside? Or are we just going to hit to this upside right now? Okay. I'm going to end the video there. Hope everyone has a safe 4th of July weekend. Happy birthday, America. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.